the push and pull of negotiations all summer, IMPD, the mayor's office, and the city county council have come up with a compromise. That's to establish a new board to track when Metro police officers use force on the streets of Indianapolis. As CBS 4's Russ McQuaid shows us, the IMPD use of force board will have a citizen majority, but not necessarily the final say when reviewing police actions. IMPD General Order 1.31 is the final part of a puzzle to update the police department's policies on the use of force to enforce the law and whether or not a police officer was right or wrong. This is the most visual example we have of IMPD's use of force from last summer, the submission of two women by event response group officers on May 31st after two nights of rioting downtown. IMPD judged the officers were in compliance with department rules. The Marion County Grand Jury indicted two officers with battery. New General Order 1.31, signed by Chief Randall Taylor last Thursday, establishes a citizen majority board to review cases like the ERG incident with four police officers and five community members. Two will come from the mayor's office, and three will come from the city county council, all recommendations to the chief of police who will then appoint them. The board will review blue team reports where officers explain why they used a gun or a taser or a baton or their hands to subdue a subject and their supervisors investigated. And then the board will determine whether IMPD's policies were violated. They will be able to review uh, the entirety of the incident and provide recommendations to the chief of police uh, about, you know, whether it's supervisors, training, whatever, whatever it is that they deem uh, to provide to the chief, they can provide that in writing to the chief of police with recommendations on how th that what they believe needs to be addressed. And they have no disciplinary um, uh, purview. It, it, it is purely a advisement to the chief of police who would then take that information and make his make a, make his or her determination. Now, having said that, you know the chief is going to have to answer. Uh, to the community uh, and elected officials if he determines to go against the board. In the end, the council approved a use of force board where convicted felons need not apply, but relatives and retired police officers are welcome. I believe it requires a successful completion of the um, citizens complaint or citizens police academy, uh, some ride alongs, obviously some uh, training in the use of force pot in, in 1.30 and 1.31. IMPD and the council and the mayor's office hope to agree on a list of nominees by the end of the year so that their training can take effect in January. And by the 1st of February, that board can begin hearing cases. In the newsroom, Russ McQuaid, CBS 4 News.